Here's a look at the Trotters competing in race seven at Mohawk. Number one is Simba with Rick Zeron in the sulky. Two is Cupidal B. And Chris Christopheru is in the bike. Next in line is number three, Lifetime Memories. And Steve Condren gets the call from trainer Ed Howard. And from post four, it's Turnpike Token and Randy Waples still looking for his fourth of the evening. From post five, it's Beamer's Taylor T and Kevin Sizer's in the sulky. Next in line, number six, Encore Corey, and Bob Fennick is the trainer driver. Seven is Impasse, and Doug Brown gets the call from Len Lalonde Jr. And then we have number eight, Carriage House, and Paul McDonnell is in the bike for trainer Billy Wellwood. And number nine is Corn Cob Conk. And Mike Saftik's in the bike. Mike Wade is the trainer. We complete the field from post 10. That's Red Leaf Macabuck. Tony Kerwood's in the sulky. And the leading trainer, Kevin McMaster's in charge. So we have three. Very rough and trotting. Watching Corn Cob Conk leaving hard on the extreme outside. Trying to come with him as impasse leaving out of there. Beamer's Taylor T in the center. And Cupid All B is with the leaders along the inside. Lifetime Memories has taken to the inside. In a tight fifth, Simba is six. Wide from seventh goes Red Leaf Macabuck on up to the quarter. Then it's back to Turnpike Token. And Corcori is second from last in Carriage House is 10th on the outside as they round the first turn. Impasse briefly to the front. Beamer's Taylor T still coming. Corn Cob Conk hung out in third. Cupid All B at the inside is fourth. Racing fifth on the outside is Red Leaf Macabuck parked in 28 and three. Up the back stretch now. Beamer's Taylor T briefly to the lead. Corn Cob Conk edges to the front after the three eighths check in. Impasse now back in third. Red Leaf Macabuck uncovered and driving on the outside into the top four. There's Simba the outside fifth. Cupid All B is sixth on the inside. Carriage House is seventh out. Lifetime Memories gets a chance to come out from eighth. Second from last at the half, Turnpike Token, then Encore Corey in 58 and one. The field is tightly grouped, moving into the final turn. On the inside, Corncob Conk chased for three quarters of a mile by Redleaf Macabuck. Beamer's Taylor T at the flank of Simba. Well spotted second over. Carriage House is up into the race. Fifth on the outside. Well back in six now is Impasse. Lifetime Memories has trot. Seventh on the outside, not far off. Off. Moving eighth around the final turn. Still with a lot of trot left is Turnpike Token, then Cupid All B, and trailing was Ancor Corey. They're all still in it at head stretch, and they pass three quarters in 127 and two. Uh, down the lane for Corn Cob Conk, Red Leaf Macabuck, far outside. Here comes Simba to the flank of Lifetime Memories. Corn Cob Conk is up to it, roaring away to an insurmountable deep stretch lead of three lengths. Corn Cob Conk, a powerful winner for from the front, Redleaf Macabuck overland trip for second, impasse back on for third, Corn Cob Conk in an outstanding for the conditions. Well, that seasonal earnings, 289,000 going into this one, banking 23.5 more, and a five-year-old son of King Conk owned by Lori Wade, Michael Wade.